lemon in it. You a liar. Hi everyone, my name is Whitney Milam. Welcome to my channel. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Now, I am not Irish. No one in my family comes from Ireland. I actually have some Scottish ancestry, which is very different. But I know St. Patrick's Day is a very big celebration. Where I live in Wisconsin, it is definitely a big deal because people in Wisconsin like to drink. It's actually, I think we're the worst binge drinkers in the nation. And I don't know if this is something that people do across the entire nation, um, but at least locally we have green beer on St. Patrick's Day. But instead of having green beer, I am going to show you guys how to make a green sauce. So here is how you make cilantro lime cream sauce. For this meal I started with my sides because they take the longest to cook. I've got three sweet potatoes cut into large fries, which I've added oil, salt, pepper, and cumin to. I've tossed them well, put them on a baking sheet, and I'm cooking them at 400 degrees for 30 minutes. Then I take a head of cabbage, which I've cut into quarters, added two pats of butter, some salt and pepper, wrapped it in foil, and then added it to the same oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Then I take a head of garlic, cut off the top about an inch down, add olive oil and salt, wrap it in foil, and add it to that same oven for 10 minutes. Then I've got some chicken breasts that I have cut in half and seasoned with lemon pepper and salt and garlic. And I lay those in a hot skillet with some butter, cook them for about three to five minutes on each side, and then I pop them in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes at 350. I like to use a cooling rack on top of a baking tray so that the oil can drip off. Now it's time to make the sauce. So take all the individual cloves out of your head of garlic and set them to the side. Then take your cilantro, chop off the stems, cut it in half so we can fit it in the food processor. Then take one jalapeno, more if you like it spicier, and add it in, no seeds. Then move that, oh we need that, um, cram that back in there. Then add your garlic cloves, grab your lime and roll it around to release the juices. Then cut it in half and squeeze all that juice that you can into the food processor. And then add one cup of plain Greek yogurt. And that's it, just five ingredients. Then blend it until it's completely smooth. This is what it should look like when it's done. If you want to make this into a cilantro lime crema, swap out the yogurt for one cup of heavy whipping cream. And now it's time to plate. Get your chicken, your sweet potato fries, some dipping sauce, your cabbage. Make sure you pour all that buttery goodness over it. And then an extra little dollop of our cilantro lime cream sauce on top of the chicken. And then enjoy. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that recipe for cilantro lime cream sauce. As you can see, there's a lot of ways that you can tweak it to kind of fit your taste and your dietary preferences. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. Leave a comment to let me know how you celebrate St. Patrick's Day. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks everyone, bye.